about some resistant things and <laughs> smooth them out. What do you think about that? You interested in that? Yeah. Taking something where you've got a little resistance and, and following the path? You ready for that? Yeah? Hi. So um, I think I have a kind of um, body work that I do that I'm really good at, and it's very law of attraction-esque, and I've enjoyed it for years. And I feel like I I want to do something else. And I feel like I get kind of caught up in, well, I'm good at what I do, and it is, it's been the path of least resistance for a really long time. Or is it? Well, I know. Anymore, I don't think it is, well, but it's like it's what I do. But that's, that's why we're asking the question. In other words, if what I do and the fact that I'm good at it, but how do you, and, and so maybe a lot of other people are telling you you're good at it too, and maybe a lot of, and, and so there can be a lot of confusion. But if you're just sorting it out for yourself, how do you know if you're on your path of least resistance? Thank you. <laughs> I mean, when you were talking all this morning, I'm like, yeah, this is it. This is what I, this is my, my thing is how do, how do, how do you know when you're on your own path well, of least resistance? Sometimes, sometimes you, uh, place it in juxtaposition with other things. In other words, you compare it to other things. Mm -hmm. But the, the thing that we really want to help you feel in a really clear way, and, and you're a perfect person to feel it because you are sensitive to energy, is, of course, let's say a, a really obvious path of least resistance. There's a lot of traffic. It's the freeway and you want to get to the other side is bolting into traffic, the path of least resistance. Well, that's really ridiculous, yeah. isn't it? Because of course it isn't. And yet sometimes we, we want it not to be, need to be so obvious yeah. because, because of course it's a path of least resistance in the fact that it satisfies this and this and this. But, it, but if you are an expanding being, and if you like new and change, then is something that you've been doing for a long time and doing it exactly the same way going to always be, or even for a relatively short period of time, going to be your path of least resistance? If you are an expanding being and you're doing a lot of the same things, then maybe there's some resistance because the expanding part of you isn't being satisfied. Yeah. So does that mean that you need to run into traffic? No. no. Does that mean that you need to stop everything that you're doing? No. But it yeah. does mean there is something fresh, even within what you are doing, that could be more satisfying than what you have been doing. Yeah. It could be the way you're looking at it. It could be how much of it you're doing. It could... Yeah, I mean, I don't, I actually do less. I'm, I'm, I do a few other things for, you know, Marcy's business and I, I've kind of morphed it a little bit where I do actually a little bit more talking and people like that. Like they like, they're like, you, you should be a coach or, you know, you, you're helping me as much with my thoughts as my body. And it's like, it's morphed and I feel like, well, that's good, but there's still this kind of feeling of like, yeah, that's good, but. And so I think I'm not really the type to just jump in and, and totally change things around. Why? Maybe I'm, why? Well, I don't know. Because, because status quo is good, because yeah. others are depending on you, because, because uh, staying with what you have got going already has money. Yeah, I never had a career before. I just did this and then I changed to that and then I changed the other thing. And then I found this thing that I was really passionate about. And so I was, you know, studied it and did it and good at it. Now it's like, okay, but maybe, maybe there's some totally well, other thing. And well, is some totally other thing, the path of least resistance? Clearly not yet. <laughs> it isn't, is no. it? Modification of what you're doing, the path of least yeah, resistance. That's, that's so, been so that, easier so, so far. So, uh, so we want to convince you, yeah. all of you that 
path of least resistance is a good thing, not a bad thing. Yeah. And we don't think that we've convinced you there quite yet because it seems like if you're really going to do something, you just got to dig in and you just got to bite the bullet and you just got to do it. In other words, let's just do this thing. Let's just do something that's entirely different. And we say, that's not the path of least resistance. That's the path of more resistance. Yeah. That's causing all kinds of upheaval to your experience. Yeah. That's causing trauma and stress and strain. That's not the path of least resistance. So True. let's say... It won't be this way, but let's say, because we've seen your past, but let's say, shouldn't have given spoiler alert. So let's say, <laughs> so let's say that, so that, let's say that you're feeling some mild dissatisfaction and even the word dissatisfaction is too strong of word. You're just feeling some mild inklings to spice up your experience in some way by adding something more to it. A little more uh, momentum, a little more enthusiasm, a little more something that calls you. Well, it certainly doesn't fall into the category of of the plague. No. <laughs> it certainly doesn't fall into the category of I don't like what I'm doing. And yeah. so so you want your your modification of your behavior to come long after the modification of your thoughts. So yeah. the path of least resistance could be something as simple as just making some lists of positive aspects about what you're doing. I think I've been a little resistant to doing that out of that kind of because crazy fear that if I just give a lot of appreciation for what I'm doing, then I'll just get stuck doing that. I should not appreciate my current mate. The universe might think that's all I ever want. <laughs> No, no, I want to keep her. I just don't know if I want to we're, keep the job. We're not talking about you. We're, we're just talking. There's a, there's a lot of that going on. If, if I don't complain, yeah. somebody might misunderstand and think I'm happy. <laughs> I mean, I know and now crazy. I have to keep doing this forevermore. So, so there is something to yeah, that. Yeah, there it, is. But, but, so, so now let's talk about this path of least resistance. So don't want to run into traffic. Don't want to stop what you're doing. Really don't want it. the path of least resistance is not to stop the momentum of that. You are good at it. Yeah. The path of least resistance really isn't even to slow down the activity of it because you're not doing so much that there's any discomfort there. Yeah. So the path of least resistance isn't, it feels like anything to do. It's just something that you want to be thinking about. Yeah. So, so now look for the path of least resistance in some thoughts. I'm going to be stuck doing this the rest of my life. <laughs> That's a resistant thought. I get to yeah. choose as I go along. Yeah. That's non-resistant. This a- occurred to me, non-resistant. Other things will too. Yeah. A modification of this is in the works. I really like being good at what I do. Yeah. I like being open to new ideas. I like being in the receptive mode. Path of least resistance and the work I do fall nicely together. I do. I'm I'm on to something. I intuitively understand the path of least resistance. There's nothing for me to do differently here. In terms of action, I'm really on a good path. I just want to tweak my vibrational resonance a little more. So you feel no resistance there. So now uh, I really appreciate the inspiration that has come to me. I appreciate the intuitive inclination that come to me. Mm-hmm. I appreciate that every time I'm involved with someone, I can feel the path of least resistance for them. I like how I can get in sync with with what their intentions are and still be in sync with my intentions. Yeah. I like this cooperative experience that is happening. I can feel clearly that I'm firmly on my path, and I love knowing that I can keep smoothing out any resistance that comes along the way. So then, that was good, wasn't it? So then, now let's, now let's say that you are, for whatever reason, doesn't matter how you got there, feeling a little dissatisfaction with what you're doing. Maybe you're about to move in to one of those segments and you're really not looking forward to it like you want to. Mm-hmm. And, and you're, you've even gone so far down this path of a little resistance to what you're doing to think, I wish I didn't have to do this today. Mm-hmm. So now, You stop and you think, well, I do have an appointment with someone. So it's the path of least resistance to keep my appointment or to cancel it. Well, which is it? Keep it. it. Of course. That, that, that feels better. What if, what if, um, you really didn't feel like doing it? What if, what if you just really, really could, can you see yourself ever doing what felt best for you 
instead of what was best for your client? Could you see yourself? What if you were, what if you were really, what if you had the plague? Well, <laughs> what if, what if you really didn't feel good? Yeah, I, I, I've canceled when I was, you know, spewing. So, so, so in order to do what you'd rather do, you have to make yourself sick enough that that's the path of least resistance. Yeah, that's true. Because there is this service to others yeah. that sort of stands paramount to all things. Hey, you made this appointment and there's this service to others that stands sort of as paramount to all it's things. It's been my theme of one of one of my life themes is service to others. We know. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> almost all of you have that theme going on. And what it really says is I've been trained that if I don't do what you want me to do, then it gets really unpleasant. So path of least resistance has been to just give up on some of what I want and do what you want. In other words, because a lot of you have not been following your own momentum. You do mostly, yeah. but, but we're just saying that there's yeah. a lot of doing what you should do and doing what yeah. you think others want you to do. And because you want the mark on the chart or you want the awareness of others or you want the credit for something or you want, and we really want to help you reorient just a little bit because way back here somewhere is this fact that if you get out of alignment with the expansion of who you are, it is resistance. And if you keep it up in service to others, you'll get resistant enough that you'll start resenting them and even the work that you do. Yeah. I you see, see what we're getting at? Yeah. You know it because you've been living it. At first, the path of least resistance was to do what they wanted you to do. But after a little while, it isn't the path of least resistance. And we, we just want you to not get so far down the road that you have to divorce them or that you, or that you, or that you have to run away from something. We like it when it's in these early subtle stages yeah. where you're just saying, huh, this doesn't feel quite as good as it once did to me when it was a new idea. Maybe there's something new that I want to put into this. You see what we're getting at? Yeah really good opportunity to explore something when it's in the early subtle stages. There's nothing going wrong. You still enjoy it way more than you don't. Mm -hmm. There's just this inkling that maybe I'd like to do or experience something with a little more energy. And we're just here to say to you that anything that you keep doing that is the same, 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 eventually you're going to get crossways of it because you're expanding far more than you realize that you are. Mm -hmm. And the other people in your life are happy keeping you the same, 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 because your sameness adds stability to their life. But it's not your job to give stability to others. And that's that service and sacrifice that we're talking about. When you're serving others to give them the sameness and the stability that they, they need, and in the process, you're getting a stronger and stronger resistance, stronger and stronger resistance on your path, eventually, well, we'll just say it, it backfires 100% of the time, 100% of the time. When you do something to please another, it's going to get you eventually. Now, hear that in the way that we mean it. Is service of others nice? Yeah. Of course it is. Because being an uplifter is in your vortex. Of course it is. But uplifting them to their own self-sufficiency is in your vortex too. So can you see how if somebody, if you saw somebody in the street bleeding, we know you'd help them. We know that you would. That's the path of least resistance. You couldn't walk away and leave someone in despair if you could do something about it. But when they come to live with you, <laughs> you might think different after a while. You see what we're getting at? Yeah. You have to sort it out for yourself. And you have to be willing to be sensitive enough to choose what is the path of least resistance for you. So in these terms, which is the path of least resistance? Eagerness or boredom? Eagerness. Of course. So which is the path of least resistance? Sameness or change? Change. So, so which is the path of least resistance? Drastic change or subtle change? Subtle. It's so easy, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Enough? I think that's good. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next